Okay, so this is something I've been struggling with for a bit too long, um, but I've finally figured it out, I think. Um, <clears throat> trying to program a PIC32 microcontroller um, using a uh, clone of the uh, PIC3 uh, that I, you know, got from the usual suspects. A couple of things. The um, 351 version of um, uh, Ampilab X does not um, do the right things in Ubuntu to um, uh, make hot plugging of the USB understand these things, but the th version 3.55, which is the most recent version of Ampilab Lab X and the Ampilab IE integrated programming environment, do do the right things so that you can actually get um, your uh, your your, uh, your computer to communicate with the Picket 3. Beyond that, there is a, um, a diagram that they provide uh, for the Picket 3 to tell you about how you're supposed to connect up your microcontroller to your Picket 3. And they include a, um, a resistor uh, that goes from your uh, reset pin to your uh, VDD. What they neglect to inform you of is that you need bypass capacitors across a number of other pins. In particular, um, this is, uh, what is this? This is VDD and VSS, or AV, AVSS. Um, I think that's... Uh, um, we, we can check the data sheets, but in any event, so we've got a, um, a, a ground pin here and a voltage pin here. We've got a, um, a pair of pins over here. I, I haven't taken this one off because this one's not connected to ground, but there's a 3.3 um, a volt pin here. And then there's um, a, a V, let's see, what are we talking about here? Pin two, VDD and VSS here. So um, this is actually a ground because it goes from here to here. That um, is a capacitor onto that pin there, which is, um, what this, was that? I think that's a, a V cap pin. And so this is ground, this is um, V33, uh, uh, VSS. So you need bypass capacitor here and here. I'm not quite sure about this one, but in any event, if you're trying to program a PIC32 microcontroller, bypass caps across any pair of ground and power pins that you see. Now, they also tell you in the... Uh, in the data sheets to not put a capacitor across your reset pin and ground but um, that might be errata I haven't figured I haven't checked it out you definitely don't need pull-ups on your programming lines and you don't need a capacitor on your programming line um, works just fine without it but um, I'll have to uh, check for errata on that one. And uh, just for future reference, programming PIC32 microcontrollers, put a bypass capacitor across your um, VSS and VDD um, and AVSS and AVV, AVDD lines, and you will have much, much more joy. Thanks for watching.